Ah, the mic. I should put that in front of my face so I can talk to you in a reasonable volume. Hello, good morning. All right, about the bike. Yeah, man, me too. I really like that bike. Me too. Rip cat fund, bike fund. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. Fucking sucked. So, uh, all right, we'll, we'll do this once now. We'll take our fight, and then I'm sure I'll do this a number of times today. So, anyways, came out yesterday. Um, not yesterday. Came out Wednesday night. The office manager left here about 5, I left here about, about 6.45. Uh, my bike was here when she left, my bike was not here when I left. Uh, the lock was cut. It's... I did yesterday, I spent the entire day uh, walking to local businesses, um, requesting security footage, asking about their security camera lo lo layout in the area. There's a security camera, so um, my bike is parked, or where the bike rack is. It's uh, about maybe 10 to 12. 10 to 15 foot from the the front desk of this office complex that I'm working in, right? And uh, in sight of the uh, of that desk. Uh, it's in a covered hallway, basically this bike rack, with a security camera on either end of it. And then there are eight other security cameras, I counted, uh, that have some, some small amount of coverage in the area that it was stolen from. Apparently, according to the guy who owns the apartment the the building that i'm renting from um the security camera right where the guy walked out with my bike uh wasn't on or wasn't working or something so but i'm not entirely certain that's true because i'm getting some conflicting information which is that um he eventually connected me through with someone else in his company and that person told me that they had to request from the camera company the records and they were doing that now um and i'll hear back from them by monday uh, if they have anything for that. I'm not really holding out a lot of hope to recover the bike, but I, I would be very annoyed with myself if I didn't at least put a little bit of effort into it since I really like the bike and I'm really fucking annoyed someone took it. Anyways. So, that was yesterday. That was uh, what I did yesterday was spend a bunch of time Calling places, getting leaving messages, getting called back, and walking to local businesses, asking to see their security footage from that. So, yeah, it's an expensive bike. Or I mean, it's not insanely expensive, but it was like I think I paid around a thousand bucks for the bike. You know, I've had it for six or seven years, five or six years, or something like that. So, kind of fucking sucks. As I said, like this area is not a bad area. Like, there's a million, there's a million, like it. I don't, know, I don't know how you tell that post-fact, right? Like, or pre-fact, rather. Like, okay, your bike gets stolen. Maybe you don't want to leave your bike there, but, like, how do I tell ahead of time? Yeah, it, it felt a little... Like, and that was the first thing the cop asked me when he came out, like, uh, you know, I called the cops and piled a police report. He was like, um, do you have any suspects? I'm like, what? I'm like, fuck what I have suspects for a bike theft. I think generally when you're thinking of, like, you know, like, I don't know if I felt violated. I just felt fine. Kind of, maybe, maybe that's the word. Cops are useless? They're not useless. He was really nice, but he wasn't it wasn't particularly helpful for this, right? Like I did not get the idea that I was likely to see this again. Alright, I want them to move into us, so I think we can step one back, right? You don't even have to step one back here. I was just hoping a couple would go up that way. I kinda want the knives. I don't like how low armor this whole area is. Some nasty fucking thugs. Where's my shirtless thugs? Well the cop said something weird too. He was like, you know, like I was like, you know, there's a camera right there. And he's like, well, if you can give me that footage, that'd be great. He's like, a lot of times um, we'll be able to identify who it is if we can see them. And, I, I, and he didn't mean, like, he didn't say it exactly like that. But that's, that was the implication. But it wasn't like he could identify them using software because they had some image or something. I think the, the implication I got from that, co that, that comment was they were aware of people who often did this. And then I'm, I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, why the fuck are they able to keep doing this then? His job to get the footage? I'm not sure it is, man. I'm not sure it is. I don't know what their priorities are for investigating and what it was. I mean, and plus it, it was one of these things like you do it yourself or you're not going to get it done right, right? So, you know, I, I, again, I spent all day yesterday. I walked to eight different eight different businesses in the area and asked them about security footage. I don't know what the Shields debate was. The cop was fine. He was respectful, uh, apologetic, and, you know, felt like I was reporting. You know, I, I don't think I'm getting my bike back, but thought a little bit better being like, hey, you know, representative of law, of law and order. You know, someone just fucked with my shit inappropriately. You know, that kind of thing. So, 
All right, this is not gonna go super well here. Unless we get some nice rolls. One hit. Dude, how are you going ahead of me and then still going after me? So fucking tired of that mechanic. Look at them! Dude, go first, go last. Must be nice. I really want to swing there. I get punctured four times if I walk forward, though. Good, good bait. Nice. Okay, less nice. Nine armor. Double miss. Need a stun there. Nice. Puncture there would have been really clutch. Didn't drop his... Oh, he did drop his flail. Okay, that's good. Ah, we could try to disarm here. Pretty low chance. We're not going to do damage to him, though. Headshot. Oh, headshot's at 10. Still probably not good enough. Easy stun. Easiest stun of my life. I don't care if this guy runs. Headshot. All right, that turned out nicely. Up the armor off both the guys we killed. None of the sharp daggers dropped. Man, what is it with loot drops in the seed? All right, let's take a look at some weird shit the chat said. Hey, theft doesn't keep people in prison, sure. Maybe it's SOP to ask for footage. Maybe. They don't give a shit about property theft. I did not get the impression. I don't, I don't know, like chat, the interaction with the cop was fine, man. Uh, I start thinking like Kyle, rig the bike, blah blah blah. Nope, no, we're not we're not keeping explosives to my bike. Seems like a great idea, but probably not going to be something we go with. The thief leave semen samples. Seems a weird question. Seems very specific. You want to tell me where you were on fucking Wednesday night? Cultist mod. You can find it in Battle Bros mods. Your sister was a victim of a holdup, and she went to the police, and the police knew who it was, just from like the description. God damn. Fucked up. Alright. Arm has left me quite happy. Mm hmm? I love uh, the fact that I can't, can't do any of the things I want to do. <laughs> like have internet in my house. Alright. No longer ambush trade routes. Take a look what they have in the market. Still, though, verified villagers. So I really can't buy anything here. Kind of wanted to buy the jabs again. I wish I had spent a second longer in the first place we were at looking at the market. Yeah, Zylo indeed. Well, hypothetically, we get two conversions in between before a sacrifice, right? Man, I kind of wish I'd taken the clear camp one now. But 11, too. Getting to 12 would have been super easy. All right, who is this guy? Oh, he rolled like shit. 46, 59, 43, 0, 0. In the 59 HP is okay. I think it might even be top roll for a monk, but this attack is not usable. All right, this is Mr. Brain Drain. Let's see who it is. Roll for the winner. Moppy pop. Alright. Brain drain slash sacrifice. Undead. Flails are fine. See, our whole weapon lineup is pretty good versus undead here. Minus this. And that. Brain drain sounds very German. Okay. I, should, I guess I shouldn't have brought the runner into this fight. It's just not enough. And he's leveling. And the problem is it takes your lowest candidates eventually, right?
Double hit. Calm the fuck down, okay? Leads for 20 more health, health points out of this, too. Getting all exciting with his uh, double hits there. Seems very unnecessary. Dude, what is this result? This resolve isn't crazy. Looked at once, dies. Alright, Reedsel and Calric both died. Rip. Alright. Can you get the meat armor faster when you start Cultus Origin? Not really. I mean, you can because you have Cultus around for the first time it's available, but you're still limited by factors that are outside of, like, you know, normal playstyle. You can what Sacrifice and Conversion do. Yeah, you yeah, can. Um, conversion is it takes someone from a different background. Uh, for example, a brawler and makes them into a cultist. It changes their background and changes their pay. Um, and when they're converted, they, I think they gain a small amount of resolve as well. Basically, your cultist talks some other lowborn or stupid background into joining your cult. And that matters for the second part, which is the sacrifice events, which is the kind of um, bread and butter of this run, which is as your brother, um, once every, I think it's 20 days or something uh, with a mod, your brothers are offer offered a chance to sacrifice uh, one of their four lowest level characters at random. And um, it gives bonuses, stacking bonuses. So the more times your, your brothers have been in, the more people in your cult, wrong way of saying this, the longer your cultists have been around, the more bonuses they stack up. Now it makes everybody else in the group super angry who's not a cultist. So really what you want is you want the bulk of your run to be cultists as much as possible while, while recruiting backgrounds you care about. All right. Level ups, another roll there is very nice. Looked up some locks the other day afterwards. I'm like, man, how negligent was I with my lock situation? You know, you can do, uh, I had a, just a, you know, it's a, it's braided um, steel with uh, with uh, rubber over it, right? Standard kind of lock like that. And uh, that got cut. And it looks like it takes about three seconds to cut that, five seconds to cut that with wire, cut uh, not wire cutters, with bolt cutters. And then, um, so I looked at the D-rings those um the big d uh like solid steel ones those are about 30 seconds to cut through a little bit louder and i was looking there's a 300 dollars 20 pound bike lock that i could buy i was looking at that one which apparently will not be defeated by uh the cutters u locks they're like a d i don't know why you're calling them a u but sure yeah that's what i'm talking about so i don't know because it's like you start looking at things like that and you're like okay well i can lock the frame with that all right, well, there's two other wheels. I'm gonna lock those two? What about my bike seat? What about the fucking handlebars? You know, like, so you're, like you're playing this game of like diminishing returns of what you get out of it. So I could get three $300 20-pound locks, lock the front tire, the back tire, and the fucking uh, frame. You know, for a thousand bucks and 60 pounds of bike, bike lock. <laughs> you know? So, anyways. 
So, yeah, I'll steal my saddle, exactly, right? And it was just like, it's it's a, it's not a bad area at all, particularly. You know, it was in broad daylight. They took it, you know, it wasn't, sun, it, sun hadn't gone down yet in a very heavy trafficked area in sight of what I can tell about, it, it depends on how, like, the, the exact coverage of the cameras, but it's like, it's like in between two parking lots with cameras basically on all exits and cameras on either side of the fucking bike tunnel. Seems like a crazy spot. If I were gonna steal a bike, that seems like a really dumb spot to do it. There's a shit ton of foot traffic, a lot of people, and a lot of people and a lot of cameras. Like, why? Why? Why here? Like, anyway, seems crazy to me. So, my bike got stolen. Do I ever catch a break? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had some similar thoughts recently, man. Uh, I was pretty pissed about it too. We're really, really enjoying that. So.